astronaut uh, Tammy Jernigan now uh, opening the hatch into Unity. Discovery and uh, the International Space Station, 240 miles above the northern Pacific. Several hundred miles uh, east of Japan. And to the crew of Discovery from the uh, flight control room of the International Space Station here in Houston and Moscow, we'd like to welcome you aboard. It's been about five and a half months since we've had any visitors. And uh, make yourself at home. Astronaut uh, Tammy Jernigan and uh, Cosmonaut Valerie Tokarev opening uh, the hatch into Unity at uh, 8.14 p.m. Central Time. The crew are now entering the module again the last time that... Uh, a crew was aboard Unity, the STS-88 crew, uh, after having installed the module to Zarya, uh, entered the station, uh, entered Unity on December 10th, 1998. Uh, they closed up the module and left it uh, sealed uh, on December 11th after a one-day stay inside. Now entering the... Uh, Unity module, astronaut uh, Ellen Ochoa. Now in the foreground, uh, Commander Kent Rominger. As uh, Tammy Jernigan and uh, Valerie Tokarev open uh, the aft hatch of the Unity module, hatch uh, leading to the conical mating adapter that attaches uh, Unity to Zarya. Houston Discovery for space hatch. Go ahead. Yeah, I know you're looking at video of the ingress right now, but I just wanted to let you know we're complete to step 31 of module setup, and we do have uh, space hab video set up as well. Discovery currently uh, passing uh, 240 miles above the tip of South America. In uh, the Unity module, astronaut uh, Dan Barry, and uh, now uh, pilot uh, Rick Husband.